Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a brand new video and I'm gonna be talking about what to do when you feel out of alignment with your spiritual self. Listen, it happens. I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves to just be this perfect, ethereal, spiritual, divine being at all times, but sometimes it's, it's like, no. Yeah, I, it, it just, it doesn't work. The reason why I'm making this video one, because a couple people have asked me to talk about it, and two, because I have been going through this myself. I have fallen off of my spiritual journey, and that's okay. I know a lot of uh, spiritual YouTubers, um, they give off this perception that they're just, you know, perfect. <laughs> and I think they don't mean to, but they kind of do, and that's okay, because that's who, th I, anyways, I don't want to throw shade on anybody because I do love the spiritual content creator community. But I'm just trying to be very real and transparent with you guys because I have been feeling off. I haven't been able to meditate. I haven't felt in tune or aligned with myself or my higher self. My journaling has been completely inconsistent. My affirmations what are affirmations because i don't know those anymore because apparently it's been I, I i don't know it's been like two months since i've done them when i meditate i feel like i'm just lying there and just just thinking about nonsense i feel like i haven't been getting any signs from my spirit guides even when i pull tarot cards i can't make sense of any of the meanings i'm like asking about love and they're giving me career cards or i'm asking about career and they're giving me friendship cards and i'm just like bro what do you mean and i just don't get it i've just i felt off and i don't know why and that's okay but i just want to talk about what to do when you feel out of alignment with yourself so i have been working for the past week or two to get back to myself and I think it's working. I think it's working. So I'm gonna talk about what I've been doing and what you guys can do. And I'm also just gonna talk about feeling this way and how to make sense of it. So let's get into the video. All right, so when you're going through something like this, it's likely that you're gonna feel three things. Sad as shit. <laughs> you're gonna feel sad and you're gonna not know why, okay? I've been feeling sad and I don't know why. Well, I do know why now because I went internal and I figured it out, um, but I didn't know why. I didn't know why. I thought it was just my period or the full moon, both, you know. Um, I was waking up sad every day. I was crying for no reason and I couldn't make sense of it at all. And I was just really confused and I was like, everything's good. I just moved downtown. I'm happy. I have great friends. I'm close with my family. Why am I sad? You know, so you're probably going to feel sad and you won't know why. Two, you're gonna feel like a stranger to yourself. You're gonna feel like you're kind of losing touch with yourself. You're gonna look in the mirror and be disappointed that you're not doing the things you feel like you should be doing. Are you stretching when you promised yourself you would? No. Are you eating as good as you could be? No. Are you overspending on silly things that you don't really care for? Probably. You're gonna feel out of touch. You're gonna feel just like far from yourself as if your body is here and your soul is here and you're trying to bring them back together. That is normal. Number three, you're probably going to feel a little bit of guilt and this could have to do with a few things. It could have to do with the fact that you are out of alignment and you're not doing anything about it. This could have to do with the fact that you're overindulging, overspending, things like that because usually lower vibrational um, habits come with feeling this way and it's easier to feed into those things when you're so low and so down. <laughs> so you'll probably have some guilt attached to these things. Um, you'll have guilt attached to just not meditating or meditating and not being able to do anything about it or pulling cards and not even reading the meanings because two lines in you're like I don't get it let me put this away now I don't know maybe this is too specific maybe I'm projecting but I just feel like I had a lot of guilt with me through this whole process I want you to understand that this is normal. Your chakras are not always gonna feel aligned. Your third eye is not always gonna be open. Your meditations are sometimes gonna be boring and they're gonna feel unproductive. Your tarot cards might not make sense all the time. You might not be seeing angel numbers every day like you used to. You might feel just off and that's okay. That's normal, that's what we all feel. I like to consider myself a super spiritual person. I like to consider myself to be someone who's super in tune with themselves and aligned with their higher self to an extent. But I'm feeling this way right now while well, I'm getting out of it, but I, I have been feeling this way for a while. And I think I was in denial for a little bit of time. I don't know, but it's normal. It's normal. You don't need to feel guilty that you're not journaling every day anymore. And you don't need to feel guilty that you're not meditating 
sometimes when you meditate and nothing happens it feels unproductive but it actually is productive because it's it, it's like a journey meditation is like you might meditate eight days in a row and that's like a build up to that powerful meditation that you get on the ninth day meditation daily meditation is kind of like foreplay <laughs> you know how like they say that foreplay starts hours before sex <laughs> because it's it's the little glances or the little touches or the little non-sexual things that build up the tension you know that's <laughs> how meditation is i guess i just came up with this metaphor i hope it makes sense um picture meditation like this you meditate eight days in a row like i said and on the first day you can't focus on anything you last five minutes on the second day you're bored you can't figure anything out you can't focus you can't think you're, you're just there on the third day you know it's a little easier to focus on the fourth day you're kind of you know feeling at peace and then on the sixth seventh eighth you're getting closer and closer and then on the ninth day you have that like crazy meditation that feels like you're in a trance and you just feel super in tune and it lasts 15 minutes and you're just like whoa i just had a great meditation you probably wouldn't have had that ninth great meditation if the eight days of bullshit didn't lead up to it. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. So what to do when you feel out of alignment? Now that I've reassured you, I hope that this is normal and people feel this, even your favorite spiritual gurus on the internet, they all go through this, I'm sure. Maybe they don't document it, but they go through it. I promise you, I promise you. Um, what do you do? You start slow. You start with one task at a time. Please don't don't pressure yourself the way that I did. Don't tell yourself, I'm gonna wake up at 6.30 every morning and do yoga and journal and make my cup of green tea and then say my affirmations and then no, no, don't do that because you're gonna do it for one or two days and you're gonna be like, fuck this. I'm not doing any of it. Start slow. Give yourself one task at a time because here's the thing with overwhelming yourself with all these tasks because you feel like you have to do it you lose trust in yourself because you tell yourself you're gonna do it and then you don't do it and then you don't trust yourself so then you don't even have the expectation to do it because now you don't even like trust yourself enough to believe that you're gonna get done what you need to get done so you just say fuck it and you don't do any of it why why are we putting this imaginary pressure on ourselves is God himself or the universe itself looking down on us and saying, hey, did you meditate today? You better have meditated. No, no one's checking in with us. No one's holding us accountable. No one's, you know, gonna get mad at us or punish us if we don't meditate and then fucking do yoga for an hour. Like we're the ones that make these decisions for ourselves because we feel like we should. So just make the decision to start small. If you can only stretch and try and touch your toes for five minutes a day, that's something. That's better than nothing. Start small. For me, I like to tell myself I'm going to do a guided meditation for at least 10 minutes. That's easy for me. Guided meditations don't require that much focus. They're easy. They're 10 minutes. You know, you wake up, you put your AirPods in and you do the guided meditation. There you go. I start with that. And then the next week, you know, you can be like, okay, I'm going to start doing a little stretching. And just like my own stretching. And then the next day you just journal a couple lines, whatever you're feeling, maybe at night, maybe during the day. You don't need to do any time at all. You can choose when you want to do it. I saw this quote that made me think um, a lot. And I don't remember the quote, unfortunately. If I remember it, I will put it on the screen. But the message of it, I'm not even going to try and remember what it said, but the message that I got from it um, was pretty much, it is hard to wake up at 6 a.m. It is hard to stretch and do yoga. It is hard to choose to journal. It is hard to eat healthy. It is hard to work out. It is hard to work hard to make a lot of money. But do you want to know what else is hard? It's hard to be broke. It's hard to have a rusty body because you don't move it as often as you should. It's hard to wake up at noon and then feel like shit because you overslept. It's hard to do a lot of things after you gain a lot of weight and eat poorly. Your body doesn't move the same way that it used to. That's hard too. It's hard to do both. Like I said, it's hard to work hard, but it's also hard to be broke. Pick a struggle. Think about it that way. Like, it's not easy to wake up and film videos, but it's also not easy to look at my AdSense and be like, ooh, how am I gonna pay my rent? <laughs> <laughs> Pick a struggle. <laughs> so I want us all to do something small that is taking steps towards our goals or whatever version of ourself that we want to become. I want you to wake up every day and ask yourself, 
Is what I'm about to do with my day in alignment with my higher self? Or maybe do that before bed. Was anything I did today in alignment with my higher self? If the answer is no, you're doing life wrong. You're doing life wrong, you are. You should be taking at least one step closer towards your goals every single day, whatever that looks like to you. It doesn't have to be big things. It doesn't mean you have to do the most. You know, it, it can mean you can just take one little baby step. Me filming this video, this is in alignment with what I choose to do with my life. I like to go on YouTube and inspire other people and share what I'm going through and, and you know, create content. I like to do that. That's something that I wanna carry with me through my life, through my career and whatever it is that I end up doing beyond YouTube, like this is my purpose. That's how I feel. And this video is in alignment with that. So yeah, it was hard to like get off my ass when I wasn't feeling the greatest and, and put makeup on and put this wig on, which is so tight on my head right now. Holy shit. Um, that was hard, but I did it. And I'm so happy I did because now I'm sitting here and I'm comfy and I look pretty and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm happy I did this. I'm happy I did because it's one step closer to aligning with my higher self, which I feel like I have been out of alignment with, like I said. So when you do these little things, you feel motivated, you feel good. Think about it, like, think about it this way. Let's say you're in school and you're doing your homework or whatever, or you're not doing your homework um, because you're looking at your agenda and you have like 17 assignments due. When you finish that first assignment, you're like, on to the next, let's do this. But getting to that first assignment is the hardest thing ever. It is, it is so difficult, but once you write that first line of that essay, suddenly all the words flow and you're done assignment number one and you're like, okay, assignment number two, let's go. You have that motivation to keep going because you have proven to yourself that you can complete the task and you can work on what you need to work on to get to where you need to be. Tell me I'm wrong. I know damn well we all sit at that computer before we write the first line of our essay and we sit there and we sit there and we sit there, but once that first line is written out, suddenly the whole essay flows and it all comes to life so write that first line whatever that means to you if that means getting up and stretching if that means applying to those jobs on linkedin you've been eyeing for the last 17 weeks if that means answering an email do you know how many emails i had piling up because i was moving and i was busy oh my god i had like 25 emails to answer and some of these emails were like, hey, we want to pay you $900 US to do this. And I fucking fumbled the bag. Because why? Because I saw 100 emails or however many it was. And I was like, I'll deal with this later. But had I just dealt with one email at a time, I wouldn't have fumbled that bag. I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't have. So you know what? Do what you need to do. Answer that one email. Because then the 75 others are 100 times easier to get to. And they feel less less heavy. They feel easy, you know? So. I know I'm giving you a million metaphors and I hope I'm making sense to you, I really do. But uh, I just wanted to come on here and talk about this because I feel like it's really difficult for us. So the main message that I wanna share with you guys is be patient with yourself, okay? Be patient with yourself. Start small. Do not overwhelm yourself with a to-do list this big. Start small, start with a to-do list this big. And then, you know, maybe add another little to do another little, another little, you know, start small, okay? Remember that trusting yourself is crucial. So if you're putting too much on your plate and you decide not to do anything, that lowers your trust in yourself. And when you, when you lower the trust in yourself, that means you have low expectations of yourself, which means you will do the bare minimum and that's it because you don't expect much of yourself because you've lost trust. So trusting yourself is crucial and Give yourself time to rest if that's what you need. Do it. Because the other day I was trying to get to too many things and I said, you know what? Forget this. I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna figure it out tomorrow. I needed a day of rest. So what did I do? I sat on the couch and I binged The Bachelorette and Sex Lives of College Girls and The Voice all day with wine and it was great. I made spaghetti, it was beautiful and then the next day i started getting done what i had been putting off for way too long so take rest if you need it yeah i hope this video helped you if you have any questions on like getting back into alignment and you know more of that i can do another video or i can answer the comments i don't know if i even answered the question but i think i'm still figuring it out as i go so as i progress 
and learn i will share that part of my journey with you guys and hopefully help you and inspire you or whatever it is that you come to my channel for but i do hope this video helped and if it did just let me know it really helps me when you guys like my shit and sorry <laughs> like my content <laughs> and comment on my content even if it's like silly emojis it helps me it does it helps me grow my channel which is important to me and it helps me feel good about myself <laughs> It helps me. It helps me. But let's chat. Let me know what you think. I don't know. Let's talk in the comments. I will be responsive as always. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.